watched this uh, uh, Terrence Crawford being blocked by Daniel. You know, the fight is very. If you just read the headlines, you know, Ter- big news: Terrence Crawford signed contract as well as Spence to fight. <laughs> Turn around and say, "Shock it! Just block." I mean, you don't know what to believe. Uh, you know, it's just interesting just watching um, breaking news, Crawford threats to walk away. Mike Garcia, uh, Errol Spence took a lot of my career. You know, it's just bad. Man, when you, this fight is a big fight and it's just, you know, everybody got their opinions it's just like me. Oh, who gonna win the fight? And you know, I don't do predictions like everybody else. I'm a little different when I do mine. I don't go by, you know, uh, because they fought the same person. I gotta, I gotta look at that and see what they did to this person. Some people, some people do that. I don't do that. Uh, you got like, you got um, some boxers that you got like uh, Danny Garcia. He says he fought Terrence Crawford as amateurs when they teenagers. You know, I've been in the ring with both. This is a teenager. That's like Kobe Bryant. When he was in high school, not even, uh, not 12, let's just say when he's a, uh, let's say the, a, a sophomore. And now you're going to compare Kobe Bryant of the sophomore to the Kobe Bryant when he was 32. Two different, two different ball players. Go Michael Jordan. When he was in high school, teenager, let's say he was an amateur, to 32, 33-year-old Michael Jordan. And somebody said, well, I played Michael Jordan back when we was, uh, you know, when we was amateurs. Don't make sense. Yeah, it was Michael Jordan, but it wasn't the Michael Jordan that, that, that the, the Hall of Fame Michael Jordan. So when I hear stuff like that, it's like, what the hell is you talking about, Danny Garcia? What you talking about? So, you know, I can't wait till this fight to happen. I really, I truly, truly cannot wait for this fight to happen. You know, uh... I really want to get into this fight, but this reminds me, this, 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 this gets my juices flowing. For me, this fight is an easy fight to call. Easy. This ain't going to be like what people think it's going to be. I'm telling you. I am telling you right now. Uh, obviously, you know, and I'm one of them guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I just had to think of, uh, let me see something. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I like fighters, but then I don't have to stick with them. You got some fighters that'll be like, you know, Timothy Bradley, where you can even see it in his face. He going to be, he going to ride with Terrence Crawford to the end. I don't ride with somebody just to ride with him. When you got the juice, you got the juice. I know when you ain't got the juice no more. Uh, I got Terrence Crawford winning. Easy win. This is my opinion. Uh, when the fight, and I'll get more in detail if the fight is ever made. It's going to make some people mad. I can see it right now. They're going to get angry. Uh, Terrence Crawford going to stop Errol Spence. He's going to stop Errol Spence Jr. He's going to stop this man. For the record. I'm gonna be talking just just like I'm gonna be talking just like him. Stephen A. Smith. This is this is this is wild, man. And you know, people look at and then this is another thing people say and it's kinda of stupid to me. You hear people they'll watch and I don't watch our videos. You got somebody because somebody's a professional boxer. That that really means something when they come up with a prediction. 
man, half the time, a lot of these professional fighters, they don't know what they're looking at when they they can't ju- they don't know who's gonna win. You can't always get them right anyway. You got some fighters that act like even though they're professional, they don't know, they don't, they don't, they don't know what's going on. It's just like everybody else. I'll get more into detail when that when I do the prediction when it comes to that. It's because people, professional boxers, they think, okay, they was they've been in the ring, so they've been in the professional, you know, fighting on a professional level, but they have trainers. You got some guys that fight a certain way, no matter who's there. They got a trainer just there. Tell them who went in the round. Man, you need to do it. You need to put jab more. Man, you can't do this. You can't do that. Then you got some fighters that can fight, and they really don't even need a trainer there to tell them what they can kind of see what's going on on the fly. Kind of like NFL or any kind of uh, football quarterbacks. You got some quarterbacks that kind of go off of they, uh, whatever play they told to call, they'll go off of that. You got some of them that can make an adjustment on the fly. Change the play. They can see what's going on. Those are the kind of fighters that I like when it comes to predictions and stuff like that. If I watch their videos, they might not get them right, but they make sense what they're saying. Anyway, I can't wait to this fight to happen. I, want, I need, I need this fight to happen. I got a lot of trash that been talking behind the scenes on on why I got Terrence Crawford winning. All these guys got Errol Spence Jr. winning. Shit, you okay? So, there's a reason, man. I'm, I, I put it like this. I can't wait. I'm so confident in this fight. I'm going. And I, it's going to be a stoppage. What y'all think? Do y'all think this fight's going to happen? Really? Y'all think this fight's going to happen? 